Hey, 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 John Hardison here with you from Studio 113 and Epic Academy at East Hall High School in Gainesville, Georgia. Let's take a look today at using our Blogger app to post to our blog spot. So if you have seen the previous video, you have seen how you can set up a blog spot on blogger.com, which is owned by Google. So please go back to that video if you need to check it out and get started. But this is a quick tutorial on using this app right here called Blogger. So as I open this up, you can see that I have one blog spot there called the Structure Factory. Let's just pretend that that's the one I'm going to use. As you look at this screen that I'm sharing with you, you'll see where I can look at the post that I have done for this particular blog post. And then I can go back here by clicking there in the upper left hand corner and then I can easily click on new post which I'm going to show you in just a minute. I also could click on view blog and that will take me to my actual published blogs or blog post. Let's go back to settings. You can guess what settings will be and I am looking for them to update this and to make it to where you can manage uh, more settings through the smartphone app as you can on the actual website. Let's go back here and let's just get started with something very simple posting from your phone. So I click on new post. I'm just going to put test post and then here for my writing I'm going to say hey Hey world. Now remember, this could be, say, maybe two pages long, three pages long, two paragraphs long, two sentences long. It's just you expressing yourself. But let's say I want to add in a picture. So here we go. Click on the camera. I want to launch my camera or I could go to my photo library. So let's just take a look at the launch camera. And let me turn this around. That's looking at my classroom. And here I am. Hey, and one, two, three, smile. Just took a picture. I'm going to use that photo. And there it is. Now I'm going to push my keyboard down. And you see I have posted, hey world, I have a picture. And now I'm going to click done. And then I'm going to go to save. Once I click save, I'm going to actually publish it. But let me tell you this, if you save as a draft, obviously the world can't see it. So you continue to go back and you can edit it, you can work on it, you can delete, you can add to it. But I'm going to say that for the sake of this tutorial, we are done. Let's publish it to the world. Publish. It should give me confirmation. And I'll just wait. And I could go on my phone to look at it right now in the Safari web browser. I could also share it at this time, but I'm not going to share it. I'm going to click done. And what I would like to do is to take you to how that would look once published. So here's my blog spot, one of my blog spots. I'm going to hit reload this page. There we are. You're looking at it live to the world if I can simply get them to this URL right there. Now I want to try one more thing and it's a bit risky because I got to let you know I'm going to try a little app mashing in case you want to in case you want to do some talking into your phone and copy that. But to do so, I have to turn off this particular program that is showing my phone right now and go to a hover cam. And I'll explain more in just a second, so bear with me. Let me turn this off just a second. All right. And what I'm going to do now is go to my hover cam to show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see, I'm using a hover cam now because I want to go to an app called Dragon Dictation. So here we are. Let's say I'm anywhere and I don't have time to stop and actually write and thumb away at an essay from my smartphone. So let's use Dragon Dictation, a free app. And I'm going to hit record. This is just a test, period. 
I hope this works very well, period. Give it just a second. You can see how it transcribed what I was saying. I click here, I go to copy, and now the cool thing is I am done with that app. So I have used one app and I have tried to uh, be efficient and I'm going to mash it into my blog app. But what I'm going to do here, if I can get it to come back up, is I'm going to go back to better software, mirror this, and I'm going to show you now what I would do. So here's my phone. And what I would do now, sorry, wrong one, I will go back to my blogger app, and let's say I want to post one more time. I just use voice dictation from the Dragon app, and I copied that. So let me just title this one Dragon. dictation and I'm going to copy and paste by holding down my thumb what I spoke into my phone. Obviously you could speak for two, three, four paragraphs however long it works. I always go back and edit what Dragon Dictation says that I said. It's not perfect but if I articulate it and uh, speak correctly then usually it does very well. You can see it worked here. So all I would do is push my keyboard down here, I'm going to click done, and I'm going to click save, and I'm going to go ahead and publish to the world. It'll give me confirmation again. There it is. So I'm going to click done, and I'm now going to pull up my blog spot again. I'm going to refresh, and you can see right here where I'm circling that's where I use the Dragon Dictation app to quickly speak into my phone, to copy and paste, and then use the Blogger app to post to my blog spot. A little bit of app mashing there, but if you want to write on the go, express to the world on the go, this is the way to do it. I hope this has been very helpful, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks.